Hello children, today we are going to do our sixth chapter from English 2. Okay, so this is a story about Peter and his dog. The title of the story is Peter's Ghost Dog. Okay, so as you can see in this picture, the boy in the picture is Peter and the dog is the ghost dog. So, we are going to start the story line by line. So, when I read the story, I want you all to follow me line by line. Got it? So, let's start. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Peter. Peter went to preschool, but when he wasn't at school, he sometimes felt lonely. All his friends had brothers or sisters or dogs or rabbits, but Peter only had his toys and books. So, once upon a time, there was a boy and the name of that boy was Peter. Okay, he used to go to preschool. He was a very small boy. Okay, he used to go to preschool. But when he wasn't at school, so during preschool, he wasn't at school the whole day. Okay, so when he wasn't at school, he sometimes felt lonely at home. Why did he feel lonely? Because his friends, his brothers, sorry, his friends had brothers and sisters to play with. Okay, or they had dogs or rabbits to play with. But Peter only had his toys and books. That's why, that is the reason why he felt very lonely when he wasn't at school because he had no friends, he had no brothers or sister, neither he had any pet animals like rabbits, dogs to play with. Okay. So next paragraph, Peter's birthday was getting near so he asked his daddy if he could have a dog. Hmm, said daddy, we live in a flat and mummy and I have to work. Soon, You'll go to primary school so there won't be anyone to take the doggy out. It really wouldn't be fair to the dog. Daddy noticed Peter's sad look. So he added, Soon we will all work hard and make money. We can move to a big house by the seaside. Then you can have two dogs if you like. Peter went to his room. He cried and cried. He didn't want two dogs sometimes in the future. He just wanted one dog now. Just then, Peter noticed a little brown dog sitting on the corner of his bed. It was looking at him lovingly. Perhaps the dog had come in through the open window. Peter picked it up and hugged it. The dog snuggled into Peter's shirt. So what happened? Peter's birthday was getting near and near. Okay, so when Peter's birthday was going to come, what did Peter do? Peter went to his daddy and he asked his daddy to uh, pet a dog. Got it? To keep a dog. But what did daddy replied? Daddy replied that we live, they used to live in a flat. Okay, and mummy and daddy, they both used to work. And when Peter will move to primary school after preschool, the dog would be alone at the house. Okay, so daddy said that if you will go to primary school, if I and mummy go to work, then who will take care of the doggy? Who is going to take the doggy for a walk? Okay, so daddy said that we cannot keep the doggy. It wouldn't be fair for the doggy if we could not take him for a walk or we couldn't um, look after him properly. Okay, daddy said to Peter. Then after telling that, daddy noticed that Peter was very sad. Okay, his, his face was uh, looking very sad. So what did daddy added? He said that we will work hard and make money and move to a big house by seaside then you can have two dogs at that time okay in order to uh, 
uh, bring a smile on Peter's face. Daddy said that I and mommy are going to work very hard and we are quickly going to move to a big house by a seaside and there he can keep two dogs. But what happened? Those words of daddy could not bring a smile on Peter's face. He ran into his room and he started crying. What did he cried and cried because he did not want it two dogs in future, but he wanted a dog, one dog right now. Okay, then what happened when he was crying and crying? Then suddenly Peter noticed a little brown dog sitting on the corner of the of his bed. Okay, and it was looking at him lovingly, and uh, the dog had come from the window. The window was open and the dog had come from the open window. So what did Peter do? Peter picked it up and hugged it. Okay. And the dog also snuggled into Peter's shirt. Snuggled means you can see the word meaning there at the side with a highlight uh, which is highlighted in red color. Snuggled means moved into a warm and comfortable position okay so what did the dog do dog also snuggled into peter's shirt peter made a bed for the dog out of a cardboard box and kept it under his own bed he decided to call the dog sniffy because it always had a wet nose he would save some of his own dinner to uh, give to Sniffy. So what did Peter do? Peter made a bed out of a cardboard, okay, to keep that dog. And he named that dog Sniffy. Okay, what did the name he gave to that dog? Sniffy. Why did he call him Sniffy? Because he had a wet nose. Okay, and Peter used to save some of his own dinner in order to give to Sniffy. Next day, Peter wrapped Sniffy in his coat and took it to show his friends in the park around the corner. His friends just laughed. P Peter realized they couldn't see, even see Sniffy. He didn't care. He knew Sniffy was real, but he also knew Sniffy was a very special doggy. So next day, what did Peter do? Peter wrapped Sni uh, Sniffy in his coat and he took him to show to his friends in the park okay but what happened his friends started laughing when peter showed his dog to his friends got it what happened his friends could not see that dog they could not see the dog but peter didn't care okay he didn't care what his friends said to him he knew that sniffy was real and he knew that Sniffy was a very special dog. Over the coming weeks and months, Peter and Sniffy spent hours and hours playing together in his room and in the park. But still no one else could see Sniffy. So what happened? Months passed. Okay. Weeks passed. Peter and Sniffy, they started playing with each other. Okay. They spent hours and hours playing together in the room and in the park but what happened no one could see sniffy peter's mummy came worried became worried because he was spending so much time on his own she even took him to see doctor who asked if anything was wrong of course peter couldn't tell him about sniffy the doctor just told mummy not to worry so what happened now peter's mummy he she became very worried about peter why because peter was spending so much time on his own okay and what happened peter's mummy even took peter to visit a doctor but peter could not tell the doctor about sniffy okay and doctor just told uh, peter's mother not to worry the next year, Peter changed from preschool to primary school. Now he went to school every day. He started to make new friends and was busy with his with homework and the school clubs he had joined. He began to spend less and less time with Sniffy until the only time he saw him was when they cuddled together in bed at 
night. So next year, what happened from preschool, Peter changed to primary school. Now he became more busy. He had to go to school every day. Okay, he started making new friends and he was busy with his homework and the school clubs he had joined and he started spending less time with Sneefy. Okay, so one day what happened? Uh, one day what happened when Peter went to his room, Sneefy wasn't there. So one day what happened when Peter went to his room, Sneefy wasn't there. Peter called for him but he did not come. Peter started to cry. He felt sorry that he had not spent more time with his best friend. All of a sudden, Sneefy was behind him on the bed. Sneefy said, Peter, where have you been? I'm sorry, I haven't had much time to play with you. I have been so busy at school. Peter was shocked when Sneefy started to talk. So what happened? One, uh, one night, both of them cuddled together, okay, in the bed at night. And in the morning, what happened? Peter, when Peter went to his uh, room one night, what happened? Sniffy wasn't there. So Peter started calling his name and he started to cry. Because after calling uh, Sniffy several times, Sniffy did not come. Okay, and he felt very sorry. He felt that Sneefy went away because he could not spend much time to play with him. Okay, so what happened? He started calling Sneefy and he started crying. Suddenly, Sneefy was behind him on the bed. Got it? So Sneefy said, Peter, where have you been? He started asking to Sneefy. Okay. Where had you been? Where have you been? And what happened? Sneefy suddenly started talking. And Peter was shocked. It's fine, said the little brown dog. So when Peter told Sneefy that I am sorry I couldn't spend much time with you, then what happened? Sneefy suddenly started talking. What did Sneefy say? Sneefy said, it's fine, said the little brown dog. I was your friend when you needed me, but now you have started to make other friends and that's good. Now I have to go to help other little boys and girls who feel lonely. But don't worry, I'll never be far away. You only have to think about me and I'll be beside you and you can stroke me. Peter felt sad, but he remembered how he had felt when he first met Sneefy. So what did Sneefy say to Peter? Sneefy said that it's fine that you could not spend much time with me. I was your friend when you needed me. Okay. But now you have started to make other friends and that's good. Now Peter, was, uh, start, uh, now Peter started going to primary school. There he started uh, making new friends. Yes or no? So, what does Sneefy say? Sneefy said that now you have started making friends and that is very good. Now I have to go to help other little boys and girls who feel lonely. I was there for you when you felt lonely. Now I have to leave you because you have uh, started making friends. You have friends with you. Now uh, it's time for me to say goodbye and help other children who feel lonely like you. Okay? And what did Sneefy also said? He said that, don't worry, I'll never be far away from you. You only have to think about me and I'll be beside you. And you can uh, touch me. Stroke means to touch lovingly. Okay, so you can touch me lovingly. So whenever you need me, I will be there. Peter felt sad. Okay, Peter felt sad when Sneefy said that he is going to leave him. But he also remembered how he had felt when he first met Sniffy. So when he first met Sniffy, he was alone and he was feeling lonely and he was so, so happy to see Sniffy. So he wanted Sniffy to help all the other children who felt the same. So he was happy also to let go Sniffy because he wanted other children also to feel the same. 
okay like he felt when he first met sniffy when he was lonely now he had his new friends new school and friends and plenty to keep him busy but he was happy to know that sniffy was only a thought away so now peter already had new uh, friends and he had plenty of friends and friends to keep him busy okay so he was happy to know that but he was happy to know that sniffy was only a thought okay so he let sniffy go because he wanted sniffy to help other children okay other children who were lonely like him when he was in pre school got it so this is all about the story